how to approach a reading comprehension passage. There are three different ways to approach a reading comprehension passage. In order to understand the approaches easily, let us consider the following scenario. A man invites some people to his house. Once they arrive, he proposes a game. The game is that, based on the details of the house, he asks some questions. The person who gives the maximum number of right answers in the shortest possible time will win the game. Different people will approach this game in different ways. Let us consider the most common approaches. Approach 1. Scholar Approach In this type, a person goes inside every room and tries to remember every single detail. The process will be time-consuming. Moreover, in spite of spending all that time, there is a very good chance that a lot of details will immediately be forgotten or even may go unnoticed. We should also remember that only the one who finishes the task in the shortest possible time wins the game. In the context of reading comprehension, the method of reading a passage in detail and then trying to answer the questions is known as scholar approach. It is a very time-consuming process and hence should be avoided. Approach 2. Hunter Approach In this type, the person will ask for the questions one at a time and as soon as he hears each question, he goes into the house with the intent of finding the answer. Imagine that the first question is, what is the brand of my personal computer? The person has to hunt for all the possible locations where one would keep a personal computer and then find the brand. So a lot of time will be lost searching for the room where the personal computer is kept. In the context of reading comprehension, the method of reading the questions first and trying to answer them without fully reading the passage is known as hunter approach. This is a good approach while answering direct questions, but in aptitude tests, the number of direct questions will be less. Hence, this approach is not always suitable. Approach 3. Balanced Approach when we strike a balance between the aforementioned two approaches, we have the balanced approach. In this, a person would go inside the house and quickly glance around, getting an idea of the house. He will try to remember the general layout of the house. After this, he would come out again and when asked the question, what is the brand of my personal computer, he may not know the answer to the question, but most likely he will know where the computer is. He would then directly go to the room with the computer and find out the brand name. This will help save a lot of time. In the context of reading comprehension, this is the most suitable approach. While reading the passage, a candidate should try to remember the main theme of each passage. Now, when questions are given to the candidate, he or she has to identify the theme of the question and then go to the particular passage that deals with that particular theme. Tips to find answers Summarize each paragraph of the given passage and understand the key points in each. This will help a candidate to arrive at certain answers directly. Eliminate options which are of no relevance to the idea presented or cannot be inferred from the passage. This is an effective way to arrive at the answer. It saves time by ruling out in advance the need to cross-check the answer. While answering questions based on identifying the theme of the passage or choosing the best possible title for the passage, it is essential that the entire passage be considered. The content of the introduction or the conclusion by itself should not be the basis for the choice. The most encompassing option, that is, the idea that is expressed throughout the passage should be chosen. Whenever there are two or more close options, extra attention should be given to the words used in each of the options because the slight difference between the two options will be the basis for choosing the answer.